Good morning, Village Heights. I'm so glad you guys are joining us today. We hope you are comfortable and cozy like us. Bam, there it is. Cozy socks are on yes. and locked in. <laughs> um, we are at home right now, and so the kids are out and about. And so if you hear something, don't be alarmed. Yeah. Don't need for alarm. And I'm sure they will get involved in this at some point, and we're just going to keep going. Because we're thankful. We are thankful. Thankful. <laughs> we just wanted to bring you guys a simple message this morning um, as we close out this week, this year, this decade, um, and we launch into 2020. We know that there are so many things that we've all experienced over this past year, um, things that weigh us down. You know, I think at the beginning of every new year, we all start out with resolutions. Yeah. And you guys know, we've talked about it before, resolutions usually fail by February. Um, so what we wanna do this year, this decade, is we don't want to start with a resolution, we wanna start with a revolution. That's right. Uh, because we know that over the past year, we've all experienced things like fear and anxiety and grief and depression and moments of failure, moments of angst, um, just different things that weren't how we wanted to start 2019. We started 2019 hopeful and yeah. full of joy and full of passion. And then the weeks went on, the days went on, <laughs> life happened, and yeah. things started to weigh us down. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to start 2020 that same way. 2020, we're going to launch into it full of promises that we find in Scripture yeah. So we took a look at it and we talked about yeah. some things that we've experienced this past year, this past yeah. decade, um, and some promises that have helped us. And so we whittled it down, boiled it down to 10 things. 10 things. A list of 10 promises that, and some of them are even Jesus himself, like the yeah. red letter promises yeah. that we find in scripture to combat these things that life yeah. throws at us. So that's what we're gonna do real quick this morning. Yeah. So we're gonna run through a list. As we go through this, write them down, and that way when something comes up, maybe in the beginning of the year, maybe it's like, maybe a slow start, reference back to these 10 things, yeah. and these promises from God, so that we can continue on and start a revolution in our lives and together. Yeah, All right. and see awesome things happen in our church because of it. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Ten things. Here we go. Number one. Promise number one. Life-giving truths that we find in Scripture. This is number one. Love is greater than fear. Yeah. Um, and that Scripture comes from 1 John 4.18, and this is what it says. Such love, talking about the love of God living inside of those who put their trust in Him. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. Yeah. The love of Jesus, the love of Christ living inside of us is greater than any fear we could ever face. Um, so that's, that's promise number one, promise that number love one. is greater than fear. All right, what's number two? Promise number two, love is greater than death. Mm. Uh, Romans 6, 9 is where we find it. It says, we are sure of this. That since we died with Christ, we also live with him. Because Christ was raised from the dead, he will never die again. Death is no longer has any power over him. Yeah. So because Christ lives in us and we have him and, and, and we're in relationship with him, we don't have to fear death. We don't. Yeah. And so the things that normally come in life that would overcome us, such as fearing that something is going to end or die, we don't have to fear those things because Christ lives on in us always. Yeah. So promise number three, mm -hmm. good always beats evil. Yes. Um, 2 Corinthians 2.14 tells us, but thank God he has made us his captives and continues to lead us along in Christ's triumphal procession. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. Good always wins. Yeah. Um, Jesus, the life of Jesus taught us that time and time again, but ultimately in his death, burial, and resurrection, that he is good. All that yeah. he does is good, and good always beats out evil. Yeah. Number four, Christ will provide. Um, Philippians 4.19, it says, In the same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his gracious riches 
which have begin which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Uh, I know that beginning into a year or starting something new, we always wonder, is God going to provide? Are we going to have the resources? Are we going to have what we need to continue on? It says right here, he yeah. will provide. We just have to have faith and trust him in that. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> promise number five. Christ brings freedom. Uh, Luke 4, 18. And this is Luke <clears throat> quoting Jesus when he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released, that the blind will see, that the oppressed will be set free. Um, there are so many times in our life when we feel oppressed, when we feel captive uh, by things that we don't want to be captive by. Um, and Christ brings freedom to our life not just for us, but for the world around us. So this is something that we can declare in this new year, in this yeah. new decade, that we are free from all oppression, but that we will also see Christ bring freedom to the oppressed, to those who are um, what Scripture describes as the least of these. Christ brings freedom to everyone. Number six, hope is not lost. Romans 5.5, 5. in this hope, our hope of salvation tested by trials will not lead to disappointment. Mm. For we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Yeah. Uh, so, sometimes it's hard to keep going um, mm. because we lose hope in something. But the cool thing is, is that Christ not just gave us hope, but he also sent the Holy Spirit <clears throat> to be inside of us, to continually be fulfilling us, yeah. to give us continual hope. Yeah. And so if you feel hopeless... Just lean back on Christ. Mm -hmm. Just ask him for some more hope. To ask him for some more refilling. Ask the Holy Spirit for help. And I guarantee you it'll always happen. Yeah. Promise number seven. Healing is within <clears throat> reach. Matthew 8, 17 says he, talking about Jesus, healed all the sick. Yeah. This fulfilled the word of the Lord through the prophet Isaiah, who said he took our sickness and removed our diseases. If you were with us the past couple weeks for our Christmas collection, you know that we talked a lot about how Jesus was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. Um, and this is just another one of those things that we can trust from the beginning of time. It has always been set in motion that Christ would bring healing. And so maybe you need physical healing. Maybe you need mental healing. Maybe you need spiritual healing. Christ brings all of those things because yeah. that is who he is. He is freedom. He is healing. He is hope. Um, and that's a promise that we have in Scripture. Number eight, peace is our promise. Mm. John fourteen twenty seven says, Jesus said this himself, the man himself. <laughs> I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. Yeah. So don't be troubled or afraid. Mm. So when those hard times come up and your peace has feels like it's been stolen from you, Jesus has given you something that nothing in this world can compete with. Mm -hmm. No one can give this, give this how this powerful thing to you, only Jesus, and no one can take that away because yeah. Jesus gave it to you. So lean on that peace. Don't let the enemy or anybody else steal your peace that God has given you. So promise number nine is joy is our gift. Uh, John 16, 24, Jesus tells us, Ask using my name, and you will receive, and you will have abundant joy. That's what Christ brings. He, he gives us peace. He's promised that to us. And then he gives us joy in exchange for every sorrow, uh, because that's how he operates. He wants us to live um, a fulfilled life. He yeah. wants us to live a life full of joy. But he also knows that things come up. And that life happens and the world throws stuff at us that he never intended for us to have to to bear um so he gives us joy even in the midst of our sorrow yeah. um, because he loves us and he cares for us and number 10 is my favorite mm -hmm. uh failing doesn't make you a failure mm -hmm. romans 8 28 says <clears throat> and we know that god causes everything to work together for the good of those who love god and are called according to his purpose for them. Yes. So many times we can fall short and we feel like we're not good enough. We feel like we can't make it, like mm -hmm. we weren't, it wasn't meant to happen. 
just because you fail doesn't mean that it's not meant to happen. That just means that you got to get more creative. Mm -hmm. You got to try something different. <clears throat> and the really cool thing is that Christ will take all the bad things. Mm -hmm. He'll take all the failures. And if we let him, he'll work them together for the good, for something even greater than we could ever imagine. Mm -hmm. So failing doesn't make you a failure. That just means it's a test. It's a trial that we just need to keep going yeah. and keep going forward and let God do something amazing with it. Yeah. So let's run back through the list because these are the things that we are declaring in this new year, yeah. this new decade over our lives. Just it, a new day. Just today. Yeah. Maybe we need all of these. Okay. Love is greater than fear. Love is greater than death. Good always beats evil. Christ will provide. Christ brings freedom. Hope is not lost. Healing is within reach. Peace is our promise. Joy is our gift. And failing doesn't make you, doesn't make me, doesn't make any of us a failure. Yeah. So lean on these things uh, at the beginning of this year and throughout the year and beyond. Because um, these are something, these are concrete. These are absolutes. These are the promises from God. These stand the test of time yeah. and will always continue. Yeah. And don't worry if you were scrambling for that pen and you didn't find it. <laughs> we have these on a list and we'll, yeah. we'll give we'll this to them. you guys. We'll post this so you can have these so you can reference back to them. Yeah. Uh, but guys, we are so excited about 2020. Yeah. Uh, look forward to spend time together to do some more great things. Um, like we've talked about, this past year has been crazy for Village Heights. Yeah. Crazy awesome. Yeah. Uh, not everything has worked out perfectly, but God has worked things out to his good. And everything yeah. just come, come through amazingly. Yeah. I'm a little bit scared and a little excited <laughs> to see what happens in 2020. Yeah. And so take these promises, hide them deep in your heart. Um, that's, what, that's what scripture tells us to do, is to take all of these words and hide them in our heart that way. When life comes at us and things are thrown at us, yeah. we already have the tools that we need to, to conquer in yeah. Jesus' name. Um, so we love you and we're so thankful yeah. that you took the time to watch this video this morning, but mostly that you've spent time at Village yeah. Heights this year and that you are ready to kick off a yeah. new year with us together. So next Sunday, we'll be back in the house. Yeah. Back in the house together, yes. uh, ready to launch into a new year in style. Yeah. Um, so until then, y'all have fun. Yeah. Be safe, pop fireworks, do whatever you got to do. Celebrate the new year, but guys just have fun yeah. and enjoy each other's family and time and get as much cozy sock time as you can. <laughs> um, because we are thankful and blessed apparently and blessed. also. We love you guys. <laughs>